Wagner Hot Rodder, and today we're over at Keith's house to check out his model car collection. So this is Keith Wagner. Um, Keith, let's start off here with what we're what you're working on here. This is a pretty cool setup. Well, I already have built uh, the box stock. Um, actually, box stock means you should paint it what it looks like on the box, but I didn't go to that extent. I had that built, and I'm going to add the uh, 65 wagon and trailer and call it a drag team and That'll be really cool. I like that. That's, that's a pretty cool thing. I'm a sucker for wagons anyway. So over here, um, you have a couple of models that you built that, for competition years ago, right? Uh, 1999, I okay. I entered, uh, got a first place with the with the 48 uh, Superbird, which cool. they never made a Superbird right. then, but it is. I like and I got a first too. place at the Nationals with that, and this one here, I got a second place uh, at the Nationals. These two little boxes caught my eye. They, are, were these promo vehicles? Or were they I believe they were. They, I'm sure they came out very early. So, yeah, and they're only the 137. 29 cents. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're worth a little bit more than that now. This kid here, if you look at the side, mm -hmm. the the dollar, the 150 means this kit went for a dollar fifty on the shelf in 1964. Oh, no kidding. I didn't know that. Yeah. How long it's, do they do the price codes that way? Did it was that? I I'm not sure of the changeover, but uh, is that something that's that how just, you can just, tell on early uh, okay. how much they were on. The was that just kit. AMT did that, or did they all seem mm, to do that? Pretty much, you could get a. Um, I believe it was AMT MPC. Okay. I'm not sure of the other ones. You got a heck of a collection here. I remember when when I first met Keith, um, and, I, and he invited me over to see his model car collection. He actually had. About twice as much as what we're seeing here. He had uh, what, how many kits did you have at one time? Uh, Eight hundred and fifty, which was a drop in the bucket from some of my friends who had <laughs> oh, really? a couple thousand. <laughs> so <laughs> you can get really crazy with the hobby. Yeah, and you're down to about four fifty. You said now, right? Yeah, four fifty. Yeah. And he's got all sorts of cool stuff, drag car stuff. Some of the stuff's real old. Some of it's reissue stuff. Uh, you know. It's just a lot of neat stuff here. Some of these kits I built when I was a kid, and it's cool to see them again. This is all the um, Dukes of Hazard kits, and uh, they're all MPC sealed original kits. And I got a whole whole box full of more parts for my diorama. So I'm building me a... Oh, cool. It's going to be junked up a little more than it looks, but it's going to really be... Uh, a lot of detail. I see the big cheeseburger and hot dog. Are you going to make a, a diner to go with it, or is it just Well, be... I, I made me a lunch wagon. This is a resin bottle. Oh, okay. And that's going to be my lunch wagon. I might have him sitting up there on a stand. Oh, very cool. But, um, Look at the, a resin the detail on, the, on these kits is really cool. The, with the rusted out car in the junkyard and the... Yeah, I'm working on the truck yet. I, this, this truck here was a, um, a semi with a flatbed, and I turned it into a tow truck. And I made the, the boom and the bed and everything, so all scratch built. This is actually a buddy of mine who gave it to me, and he did this, and this is going to be my version, but he junks up cars all the time, and he gets awards oh. at car shows, beats out, really? beats out the good stuff with, with his <laughs> junk. <laughs> That's it's pretty awesome. cool. Hey, well, it takes a lot of time to make something look old and beat, really. <clears throat> yeah. I like how the tires are... Are wrapped up is that something is that how they come or did you have to wrap those no 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 that that actually um came that way okay uh years ago they issued some uh, parts packs and that's the way that came this okay. is all all stuff i had built and uh, for instance this is uh, a truck i built two different versions of the of this uh kit there's my little Oh, dual cool. blower Remember. truck <laughs> and here's a stock version of the same truck were they the same same kit to start same with? kit yeah. they, they both came from this kit right here oh, my daughter says would like those that's her favorite my stuff so that's uh that's really cool know what i do that's all my build stuff uh, i'm gonna get a case and get them put in it eventually um but you keep them in a case, keep them in the box, and it keeps them from getting really dirty. People put that's them a, on the yeah. shelf and they get filthy. Yeah, that's a good and, idea. And then they're worried the about box, how do I clean them. Well, right. if you don't let them get dirty, you don't have to clean them. There you go. That's a good tip right there. Yeah. <laughs>
And uh, so this is my vans and some trucks. I'm into the trucks and a lot of them are um, older kits, hard to come by. This is all my TV related. Uh, happy days. Christine, um, Jurassic Park, the Munsters yeah. are over there. Moving on semi, uh, smoking the bandit. And then um, just a bunch of TV related kits, which... Uh, is a fun that's the best part of my hobby is trying to find tv kits from okay. the 60s 70s 80s actually these two right here are worth probably they're unbuilt i wrapped them in some plastic to keep them nice but this is the get smart that's a 200 dollars kit right there it came out in like 1964 65 and this is a really nice one man from uncle Oh, yeah. And ZZR, that was a TV uh, series, or a, a, t a movie, actually. It was a spy movie in the 60s. Look how gaudy that car is. <laughs> it's, it's ugly, <laughs> but it's really cool. Yeah. And those are all complete, unbuilt kits. And so, again, are, are the, bo the boxes a dollar seventy. Okay. So the boxes themselves must be collectible as well. Oh yeah, you know, just yeah. for the You can alone you cool. can go on eBay and and sometimes you'll see empty boxes go for anywhere from twenty five to fifty bucks for an empty box for an empty yeah. box. And the, our kits uh, that I collected that are cars that I actually owned, um, not these colors and these stages, but I'm going to build them like I owned them and uh, just to bring back memories. That yeah, Mustang, I had a green one. I actually rolled that when I was 18 and destroyed it. Now you're going to build that one as the rolled, destroyed one or the pre-rolled? No, I won't. Uh, <laughs> I won't go to that extent. That was traumatizing. And for the record, <laughs> that's Keith's current car glued to the box, not yeah. the actual model kit. So you'll never find that at a model kit anywhere I, else. I'm going to actually <laughs> use that kit to build my model, and I'm finding parts to to try to make it as close as what my car in the garage is That's so cool. which we'll be showing you the car in the garage yeah. in a moment but uh um, so this is this is all future build stuff that you're gonna yeah as i get older and i if i can still see and not shake i'll i'll start building them there you go you know we all wish we were able to keep all the cars we always had and uh, that's the only this way, is kind I of a way to do that yeah. you know it takes up a lot less garage yeah. space a lot cheaper too <laughs> now that that mustang they, they, I had took off. I, I went, I left. Oh yeah. Anyway, so they came out and they flipped it over and, and I had to get it the next day at a, at a storage and, uh, the top was crushed in and I paid them the 50 bucks to get it out and I started it up and it was smoking. Yeah. Just because it was upside down, the oil sure. was in the heads and I drove it home and like an army tank looking out the <laughs> with side the, with the, with the smoke blower. <laughs> Yeah, this is one heck of a collection. Now these over here, this is a cool thing. I noticed this earlier. Um, Keith, you're telling me about how uh, these are reissues here, but this is an original kit. Right. And between the reissue and the original kit, they offered uh, a kit that was the camper add-on and the, uh, wedge. the wedge back, so you could convert uh, any other pickup truck kits sure. into that. Yeah, you can put pretty much anything you want in front of those and make it a Ford, Chevy, and whatever. Sure. But now this was an original kit that came out in 71, and um, it said 71 on it. These just came out, and uh, they say 72. I guess they didn't want to mess with the value of the original kit that, that says smart. 71. Yeah, that's a cool way to do it. Sometimes for cruising van, issue stuff, it I, kind of blows. I remember seeing ads in the old 70s uh, hot rod magazines for the cruising van. My sister actually had yeah, a, cruise, yeah. a cruising Pinto, and... Uh, um, they always had that weird striped kit and stuff on it. There's a yeah. lot of different 70s van kits here. This is a cool one here with a mini bike in the back. Yeah, you can extend it with a, like a truck bed. Yeah. And that's pretty sought after kit. Most of those van kits um hard to come by. So this this kit here, so this has one from from each of the three right. uh, Back to the Future movies. Right, the first three. Okay, there's yeah. the one on the railroad tracks. Yeah. yeah. A very cool collection of stuff here. This is really cool. So some of these, I look at these. Boy, I wish I had some of these in real life too. Like this suburban would be. I'd love to have yeah. that as a daily driver. Yeah. That'd be awesome. So, Absolutely. so this is Keith Wagner's awesome model collection, and uh, we'll be showing you is is that the cool hot rod and crazy artwork and stuff that he does. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it.
crazy creation, the medieval menace. And uh, Keith, why don't you tell us a bit about the car? It's a 350 with a T5 trans, right? Correct. Okay. T5 trans out of 83 Camaro. Okay. We'll get through the basics that make every car move. So we got that in the rear ends out of a 1979 Trans Am. Okay. And bolt posi. And the front axle is. Uh, 1950 Dodge pickup truck. Okay. I know you just recently went through a lot of trouble finding a disc brake conversion for it. Right. And uh, the a guy named Ram Man, he makes them now, and uh, he's really booked up selling them uh, to the, ninth, uh, the early truck. Okay. Now, and then the body, the 23T, it started off as a touring car, or was it a... Just it was a, a touring car, okay. correct. It had three doors. And I noticed the slant's different than your typical T. That was something that... Well, the back of the car here, um, had there was a door here, I took the doors out, okay. and I flipped the car over, narrowed it, and married it back up to... Okay, so this, this part here is actually the back bottom apron. Of right, and this would have been the top, the, part this would have been the top and it would have sat way back here. Okay. So that's where, uh, that's where we transition into the realm of the unnorm. Yeah. And uh, um, this is, this thing's got, it's like a rolling uh, I spy book. I mean, the more you look at this thing, I've known Keith for years, and every time I look at this car, I see something different, and I don't know if it's been on there or if something he stuck on there that I didn't know about. But uh, um, it's, it's changed up quite a bit over the years. So uh, we'll just have Keith kind of go through what he did on this thing, because it's, it's a wild car. All right, yeah, uh, 39 Chevy taillights. I put some bullets in it, gave it a little bit better look. Got some bullets down there. I got flashers, blinkers. Check out the scope with the brake lights. <laughs> and here's your gas fill, right? Yep, that's my gas fill, 15 gallon tank. Is it really? Yeah, yeah so you got it goes good, down good in there. Right? This opens up, and you can see all the air shocks and everything in there. And this, this is your security system? That's my security system. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the the top itself, and, and it looks cool with the top off it, but it looks really cool with the top on it. These little quarter windows, these are these are rasp, right? Wood they? rasp, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just and they, for extra decoration. How'd you, how'd you do the canvas on the top? Uh, that's uh, it's burlap sack, and okay. I did a two part uh, gloss coat coating on it. Is that like the the two part epoxy they use for countertops and stuff in a bar? Ah, uh, yeah, you can okay. get it at the Home Depot. Yeah, mix the two parts and together and get Do the same thing with the twine around the mirror? Twine on the steering wheel, on the rope here. This emergency brake is external on it. Yeah, it actually works. I want to find one more for the other side. Oh, that's cool. That way the passenger can hit the brakes too. So the, what, what was this off of originally? Uh, some great. I just cut it in half and used it on both sides. And this was like a pipe clamp, water pipe clamp. Okay. I, I had uh, cut... Actually, that had hinge on, and I just broke it apart, and that made my armrest, external armrest. Cool. I got Chevelle ladder bars under there holding the rear end, 373 posi gears. Cool. And it's, uh, is that a whistle or a siren? That's an old siren. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what it came off of. It works. It works good. I got the air yeah. horn lever here too, so. Oh, yeah. yeah, right up front. Yeah. <laughs> so the intake is a dual quad setup with a cross frame adapters from Offenhauser to Offenhauser. to get to the two six hundred. Are there two four five four four fifty Hollies? Or are they? Uh, these were four fifty. Okay. Yes. And, and they're, they're set up for dual quad intakes. Nothing. You can't use it as a single app. Right. Application. Now the the air cleaner set up something. It, it yeah, these work are hard old. On smudge pots you used to see on the road they'd put uh they'd just light them up and uh for like you emergency can't uh, right. roadside stuff before flares right and that, that actually works air goes in and through a filter into the carburetor and, and then this that you made obviously made all this stuff yourself here well, this light, was yeah. a spout from a fire it, 1920s uh fire extinguisher horn yeah <laughs> i think it was like a baking soda horn or something like that really and that grill is, it looks like it's from an old stove. Yeah, that's old uh, Nias Stove Company. And, yeah, I got it. some uh, sirens here from, or some uh, air horns here from a uh, 1950s dump truck. Um, these are up to 1946, 42 to 46 Chevy headlights. Yeah, I recognize those. These were just running lights. I turned them into blinkers. That's cool. I got high right? beams, low beams. These things, man, that, that looks like we do some damage right there. Yeah. 
That's off uh, the old, um, they used to cut the grass with these things. They oh, really? come down off the tractor along the road and cut, right. the, cut the grass down. Circle bar. And I like yeah. the rocket wheels that you put on the front, man. They look great. Yeah, and I got you painted the spokes to match the, yeah. the, the body. Now, speaking of the paint, how'd you get that lace work in there? I just, uh, I put the, sprayed the black down and then I was able to stretch the lace over each panel, each section I was doing and then highlight it with a little bronze and okay. and it gave it a pretty cool effect. And, so. and this, after you did the bronze work here, what'd you, how'd you get that? It looks like it's old. Well, there's and... some spray paint and then there's a little bit of brushing technique in there with different okay. colors of... Uh... You can say all your years of modeling probably helped you with sure. a lot of this, the sharp yeah. details and stuff like this. No, not and when I modeling, say modeling, I mean like with the plastic model, car models right. that I showed you earlier because he probably wouldn't make I it too far. I could have been a model at one time. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, anyways, these are, so this is wishbone off like a 20s vehicle. Okay. And that's, uh, what is, is this, a, this bottle, was that leather coated? I guess or it something? was, yeah. I found that and it fit the theme, so that's my overflow. That's really cool. Just the details of the chain going up around the, the fan guard and then the, the holes burn through it with the yeah. grate behind it. What's nice about these Offenhausers is a lot of uh, dual quad high rise intakes, you can't use your um, OEM dist or oh, yeah. distributor. You can only go with your points distributor. Right, and that still fits with, with these, you can, and it'll fit on pretty much any dual quad intake chevy ford oh so it's an uh, auto brock intake to start with right yeah and then the off he bolts right on the carb adapter right this is cool too how you you extended this up there just to yeah fill my oil yeah it's actually um a 350 but they used to have the stem to fill sure. the oil with the 327 289s or the 283s, 283s. yeah 283s. look at the headlight hydro testers yeah <laughs> This is you'd loosen up and adjust yeah, this it. is just electrical uh, connector right there. Ground rod connector. Yes, yeah, so you loosen that up, slide up and down. That's yeah. Yeah. I would just find parts that were already. Uh, I would go to flea markets, find parts that were already shaped, and I would bring them home and go. I could use that there. there and it worked good for different bracket trees. This was. Was this off of an old fence here? Uh, yeah, uh, that's old rod iron fence topper. Well, and what uh, was this chain? That, that, that somebody told me it was conveyor belt chain, but I don't believe so. I think it was um, just like a shop. Okay, uh, you throw it down to walk tread, on, right? Knock the yeah, dirt off and stuff. Right. That's really cool. Yeah, that's the you, it, it's cool the way you incorporated that mount from a a, a pipe clamp bracket. Yeah. Yeah. I like the name stuff on yeah. it, and it really it makes it look really cool having the the name and stuff on it. And on the inside, it's not done. I mean, even on the, the outside is as crazy as that is. The inside matches just the craziness of it. So that you got oh, the, the wood floor with it, like a- Steel a, wood burning stove insert. So these- the, From the doors, yeah. These were out of the side of a, of a stove. And, and I like your brake pedal with the, the old chuck key. Yeah, the old chuck. Um, this here was out of, this was new stock, had zero miles from 83. Um, it's a laser. Was it really? Yeah. No kidding. I wouldn't have figured. Yeah. Something that new looks older than that. So yeah. four, it only goes up to 83 miles an hour, so that's all the faster I can go. Yeah. I can't, I can't exceed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the. And what's with that transmission? Is that just a regular T5? That's out of an 83 Camaro, so it's it's not, not a like heavy duty tranny, but uh, you don't need nothing crazy if you're not going to drag me. So. Any idea where the car weighs? Eh, probably, not really. I imagine under 2,000 pounds. Once I get in it, probably two grand. Yeah. yeah. What's the red handle? Is that a fire extinguisher thing, or what is that? That's just props. That's yeah. that operates like the the, uh, the NOS system. Yeah. <laughs> All the nitrous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. one crazy creation, man. This is just it's it's cool, and I, I love uh, cruising with you when we go to different places and just watch everybody's reaction to this car. It's just really look at uh, the drill chuck for the gas pedal. It, it just uh, blows people away. It always, this thing always has a crowd around it. And it's, the, uh, even the, the webbing on your steering components, there's just details everywhere on this thing. Yeah, the rims are actually, they, somebody welded them up, uh, cut them and weld them to make them 10 inch wide, but these are Corvette rallies. Okay, 15 inch. so it started off as a, as a 
probably 15 by 8, and then probably we're wide yeah. into a 10. Yeah. I'm really That's impressed cool. with the top. That is really cool. Look. Well, Keith, this thing is cool as can be, man. Got a ram rambler, rambler blinker switch, switch here. Is that what that says? That's out of an old rambler. So that probably, originally mounted on the column, or yeah. was that originally dash mount? This was oh. on the on the column mount. Okay. Yeah. The rope is wrapped around. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So it, it, it's uh, I'm not quite sure what the mirrors are off. Well, I was thinking maybe uh, Oldsmobile. Yeah, I don't know. They're neat though. They got it. Yeah, they've been around for a while. That's for sure. Yeah, they're cool as hell. The uh, so it's a, it's a 23 body. 23 body. 23 four body. 50 Dodge front axle, 79 Trans Am rear end, I mean, 83 Camaro, this 72 Chevy engine. I think this was a 31. Okay. Radiator shroud. You have a custom mix that you made to coat this. It is a two part epoxy, so it is. Yeah, it's clear too. When it's real, real. Yeah, it does it flow liquid? Even his dips, yeah. yeah. Even his dipsticks have cool wood hand a lot. Yeah. Nothing's, nothing's left stock on this thing. This is what makes this really cool. And we've gone to some some pretty big uh, rat rod and traditional shows with them. And uh, it, it draws a crowd wherever he goes. People just will they'll walk around it with a grin on their face for half hour, 45 minutes sometimes. And uh, uh, it just well, is a car that draws that. tons of attention. And uh, so the next one we'll be showing you is some of the crazy artwork that Keith does. So we're not done with this video yet. Hey guys, we're over here at Keith's garage now. Let's see if the crazy maniac is home. Hey, Rafik, you in there? He's here. Let's go check out and see what he's got. This is where that crazy menace of a T lives. This is his cool little garage where he built the car. He's cleaned it up quite a bit since the last time I was here, but the real reason we're here is not for the car, because you guys already saw that in the earlier video, but we're for his crazy artwork that he's got outside. So let's go take a look. The Radfink rocket fuel, 120 octane. It has so Keith, Keith what did you make this thing out of? Oh, an old uh, tub washer. An this was ringer washers. Oh, really? This is yeah. an old, old 18 wheeler wheel, like a big bud wheel. And this, this was some kind of a hopper. You flip it upside down, it, it, it uh, you could have put maybe grain in it or anything like that. It was, uh, yeah, oh, you broke it. <laughs> and then, yeah. Um, and then that was just a settling bottle, Settle, settling bottle, so. Cool. Yeah. What is that thing on the top? Just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it might. It looks like a bomb. <laughs> yeah, it is, so it's a bomb. Speaking of bombs, we got the rat bomb, and it, this thing looks like there's a couple oxygen tanks or something. Yeah, a whole bunch of, whole bunch of different sizes. And, uh, just welded it all up, put a couple of fins on there. The most fins are from uh, the, the lawnmower. Oh, the sickle bar. Uh, sickle uh, bar, yeah. yeah. Look at big old teeth. Yeah. That thing's full. How tall is that? It's got to be close to 20 oh, it's, feet. It's 20 feet, yeah. Is it really? It's 20 feet tall. It's pretty cool. There's a little minion. Alien invasion going on here. Yeah. And this thing's pretty wild. I see these are ceiling fan parts. Yeah, those are the loader. Yeah. Now this is off all one more pieces. Yeah. What what are the legs? They were aluminum. I don't know what they came off of, but there was two of them when I found them and I used them. <laughs> and they're cool with them. I don't know what they're yeah, for. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you what they were for. <laughs> so this is this is part of the stove, maybe? Uh, that or a old lawnmower up front. I'm not sure. It's just just stuff, I, everything I found there, I found at a, a flea market or. Oh, really? And I just had a whole bunch of stuff and just started slapping it together. And so. All creative art, we love it. It was a picnic table uh, at one of the restaurants. Like a Hardy's table, or is it like a fast food restaurant yeah. thing? So that's the base of it. And uh, another gas tank, basically, a uh, fuel tank. What are these? Just some aluminum parts I found. I, you know, there was three of them, I had to buy them. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. This looks like maybe off an old boat or something. Yeah, huh? old boat. Bicycle, you know, bicycle seat and the handlebars. Like well, you brake on it, that's yeah. cool. Put that Gotta on. have an air brake. What do you think, Sage? Do you think you can climb up there and ride it? It's so just. <laughs> <laughs> so one man's junk is another man's cool, crazy art creations. You ever saw that one? No, that's it. So here we are. This is you saw his model collection. You saw his cool Model T, and now you get to see his cool art collection at his house. Keith. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. It. You know, it's good, good, 
Give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs>